you know, I was practicing, you know, I was pre uh, preparing myself for a blog about the Tale of Two Masus, um, the Dragon Quest heroes versus the Hyrule Warriors and the bias of it. But this video by Sir going of a COD and evidently, you know, the links on the description box on how, what the video is about, it's just. I'm damn scared. Really, I am. I'm just, you know, this face doesn't look scared to you, but I'm scared. You know, as you know, as a someone who wants to contribute in the video game industry, and if you are if you are con uh, contributing in a medium or in a community that you're in, you'll be scared of this. You will be, as in, you have to be. You have to recognize that this is this is really happening. To the fact that these people under academia. These people who are bent over to push their agenda towards the video game industry because in other aspects of any medium, they already succeeded in the military, in academia, and now in video games. And I know, I know, one of my friends who is hap who happened to be Japanese are now is now really pissed off at this. Right now, I mean, right now, she said that in Japan, people are already bridging that they are liking the Western games. But with this, but with this debacle, she don't know anymore. She herself, she herself says that it's ruined. You know, nothing has to be gained in this. Holy fucking shit. And this is what scares me the most. In that same transcript that Mr. Sorgon of Akkad read when he's reading a transcript of that conference in Digra, they said this. And this really, this really uh, make my hair follicles right here stood up. Here's the thing. Doing the right thing, doing the right thing is going to hurt. But it's the only way to make progress. If you're going to read, if you're going to watch that video by Mr. Sargon of Akkad and see this in this context, you read the conversations that they have, you'll be, uh, you'll be frightened. This is like he hell just frozen over and the heavens just cracked. That they're going to do their very best to push their agenda on, on the gaming industry. Because they know they already succeeded in some aspects of life. And now this. Remember, these people that are talking in Degra, these people who are members of Degra, are from the feminist, you know, who are graduate from feminism, who are graduate in academia under feminism. This is ridiculous. If you're a game creator there in the US and you encounter one of these people, I feel bad for you. And if you're being educated by them, you know, indoctrinated by them, you know, I really feel bad for you. That there's no words to actually express on how, you know, how disappointing it is for me to just see this. No wonder that the game, you know, during you no know, wonder when the Gamergate started and it steamrolled from on its already third week. They are scrambling around trying to defuse this issue. Because the uh, this is not a rabbit hole anymore, people. This is the abyss. This is an abyss that where you open one door, three pops out. When you open another door, five more pop out. This is ridiculous. This is... How? How for all of these years? How of all of these years? This is the only time that we actually fight back. Well, it's better to be late than never, but if we're going to fight, if you're going to fight this, you know, this is not, a, uh, this is not, just, not, not just about gaming journalism, transparency, not anymore. This is about fighting social, you know, fighting our way to push away social and political agenda out of our medium. The video game industry, whether it's in tabletop tra trading card games or video games, it doesn't matter anymore. We have to stand for this. 
if you're going if you are going to contribute in this industry and you'll encounter these people and they tell you what you have uh, what you have to do in order for them to please them because equality and social justice bullshit what are you just going to stand there I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to pander to these people never but some people do and we have to you know stand and stand along with them because at this point they're being bullied by these people these people from academia they really want to push it forward we had enough we had enough right I had enough I'm sure you do this is our this is uh, this is the time this is already the time let's put them to, let's put them back in their places we don't need them here this um this is art we're talking about artistic freedom here you have to value yourself as a creator it, because if you value yourself as a creator you value yourself as a human human being because you able to express yourself please if you're watching this please if you're a game creator if you're an aspiring game creator, uh, game creator do it for yourself because when you do it for yourself that you protect yourself from these people who wants to push their doctrine to you and say that you should create this in our liking so you can be one of us don't do that stand for yourself regardless of what you want to create because you still have that artistic freedom in you protect that at all costs that is all in a way i'm homer and i'm going to link it all in the description box this is fucking bloody hell Whew, see you later and I thought I'm going to have a break on this. Wow.